what's going on guys? It's Alex from TexasSteelGuitars.com. I'm just going to do a quick video today. I'm getting ready to uh, go on the road for just a little while and uh, I was cleaning out my pack of seat and I figured I might as well make a short video um, showing you the things that I keep in here and uh, maybe give you some suggestions. Probably a lot of you guys already have this kind of stuff. But anyway, this is what I have. Um, so starting out, I've got my um, little bag that I hold my bars and my picks in. I always keep two, two bars in here. Um, sorted picks. Uh, in this box here, I've got a bunch of extra picks and thumb picks and stuff. I use a, a Fred Kelly uh, Delrin um, speed thumb pick and I use just the regular national finger picks. Uh, in here, I've got some random little things, some batteries, a couple of hex sets, metric and standard, little screwdriver. Uh, this thing is really, really cool. I believe it's made by Planet Waves. It's a string winder and a string cutter in one. So God forbid during a set you break a string, you can get them back on pretty quick. Uh, next I've got just a pen in case I need to write anything down. Um, so this here is an extra strobe tuner. As you can see, I've never even opened it. Um, I've got a Peterson that I keep with my board, which stays like with my amp and stuff. But in case that ever goes bad, I've got this little, little more inexpensive one. I believe it's made by Planet Waves. Like I said, you can see I've never even opened it. But uh, just in case my Peterson goes out, um, I've got this thing here. Um, just in case this thing goes out, I've got the Peterson thing from my phone. Last case scenario. So. Um, but anyway, extra tuner. Uh, this here is just a little multi-tool set. Um, you never know when you might need to get to the underneath of the guitar um, and, and tweak something. So this is just a, a, a pretty simple little multi-tool. Um, you know, I'm supposed to have a flashlight in here too, but I don't see it anywhere. Uh, a polishing cloth, um, you know, it's nice to get on stage and have you still looking nice and shiny. And over time, the oils in your fingerprints will uh, start to etch the aluminum, so it's a good, good thing to have around. Um, here I just have a bunch of multiple cables of different lengths. Uh, you never really know which, uh, this looks like a big mess, but they're all separated. Um, you never know which size stage you're going to be on, uh, so I uh, keep uh, several cables in here just to kind of cover all the grounds. Uh, also an extension cable, um, just in case, you know, you never know how far you're going to be from power. This is a little silica packet, uh, just to keep everything dried off in here. Uh, here's my Hilton, um, and um, this is a low profile Hilton volume pedal. Uh, there's your great volume pedals. Uh, once you start using something like this, you'll, uh, you'll get used to it and probably never want to use something else. Uh, here is the power supply for it. Now, <laughs> I would say that um, you should always have an extra power supply for your Hilton in here, which I usually do, but I have recently lost the second one, so I need to uh, get back with Keith Hilton and get another power supply because it's very important um, if this goes bad or if you accidentally break it or lose it, you're, you're kind of screwed. I used to keep a second um, low-profile Goodrich in here, just a regular pop pedal, but... Uh, I got tired of lugging two pedals around, but yeah, it's a, even though I'm not doing it right now, it's a very good idea to have an extra um, power supply for your Hilton at all times, even though I don't. Um, and then um, uh, here's just a bunch of different sets of strings for C6 and E9. Uh, most of them have been opened. I don't know if there's any full packs in there, just a ton of strings. I just use these in case I pop a string uh, during a set, which doesn't happen that often, but it does happen. Uh, most of the time it's the G-sharp, so I know that I'm just going to have to reach for... I use an 11 on my G-sharp, but uh, I know I'm going to have to just grab a G-sharp and put those on. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. These are the things that I keep in my pack of seat. Um, like I said, uh, a lot of you probably keep similar things in there. Um, but this is my setup, and it, and it kind of covers me in case on, on, a, on a gig, in case anything happens, I'm, uh, I'm good to go. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, you can always find me at TexasSteelGuitars.com, and uh, stick around. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care.